welcome back to Just and Decided. Thank you so much for watching my channel. This video I've decided to share with you five of my favorite wedding looks because this summer slash fall season will be the first year that I've actually gone to a wedding that isn't my aunt or my cousins because I've been to two weddings in my life and I was significantly younger at that time. I had no idea what to wear to these weddings so I started perusing and I have partnered up with Aritzia again to dress myself for these weddings. This is a sponsored video but like the last Aritzia video I did choose all of these outfits myself so everything is very true to my style. I hope that you find some inspiration if you have some weddings coming up but let's get going. So first off is this shorts suit outfit. I've always wanted a short suit set but I didn't have one till now. This is like a blazer that I am so obsessed with because it has this double breasted button situation. The shoulders aren't too shoulder padded. I am wearing a size zero. Normally I go for size two, but this is a Babaton collection. So I'm normally size down in this situation. I really like how the sleeves are super fitted and then it is a longer blazer, but it's not like a super oversized blazer. It's still very tailored. So if you button it up, it almost looks like you're wearing a blazer dress. I paired it with a black camisole underneath just to keep everything clean. This one you saw in my Aritzia sale haul video, but there is another one that I love that I will link below that's still available. I paired the blazer with some tuxedo shorts. It's the same material as the blazer, so it fits the matching set. I paired my booties with this look because I just felt that it being a more masculine look, having these pointed toe lace up boots would just be really sexy and really cool. So yeah, this is my first entire look. This is an all black look, but I dressed up with some extra large earrings and some gold jewelry to make it look a little less boring. So the second look is a dress, surprise, surprise. It's this beautiful burgundy maroon color. I love these kind of tones when it comes close to fall. So we are heading into pre-fall or in pre-fall depending on who you ask. So starting to pick out these tones from my wardrobe is always a plus. But for the wedding, I would keep it simple. I would just wear this dress with the shoes you will see shortly and with some gold jewelry just leave it all a little bit simple because you don't want to overdo the bride but i think this is a really great option because of the wrap it gives like anyone a great figure i'm usually a little bit like not wider but i have like a straight down kind of torso so having the wrap gives me that like illusion that i have an hourglass shape plus the fact that the ruffles go like this way and then to your widest part and then coming back again is so flattering for like any figure. And then I especially love how the ruffles turn when you sashay because at, like most weddings have a dance party afterwards. So I decided to style this dress with a little bit of like, I guess not a traditional wedding shoe. It's a booty, but it does have a heel. I think that is extra fun if you're going to a wedding outdoors because have you ever like walked on grass with like a pointed heel? It's kind of impossible. And being like a not a heel wearing regular gal, I will definitely trip on my face. So for any other wedding, I think I would stick to a blocked heel. And I think that this color matches really nicely with this burgundy, especially when we get closer to fall, like these kind of jewel tones. Okay, so the next outfit is such a cute color palette. I went a little pastel for this one to give you a wide range of selections. We go from black to burgundy to now these really pretty pastels. I know I'm normally neutral, but it doesn't mean I don't love these beautiful colors, including this beautiful eggshell blue silk top. So I have this tank top in a white, but when I saw this really beautiful light almost eggshell blue or robin's egg blue i had to have it and like i knew that it would look beautiful with this light blush pleated skirt so this skirt has this thick elastic band which is super super comfy super easy to wear from the actual ceremony to the reception because you can eat you can bloat but the elastic will be your friend. And then you can see that the top tier is this like very, very thin light material. So it's see-through and then you can see this really, really cool green and orangey pink base floral pattern underneath. Okay, so this skirt is quite long. It hits me right above the ankle, but because it's so high-waisted, I think it actually makes me look a lot taller than I am. I just love how it moves 
Like I don't necessarily have to twirl, like if I just like walk towards you, it starts to billow and I just love that effect. I paired it with some plain black strap wedged shoes. These are super, super comfy, but the whole point is that this is like all pastel -y. And then just pairing it with this like darker tone on the bottom, I think it just brings it back down from being too girly and too princessy for me. This outfit can be paired with this gorgeous light dove gray slash blue sweater. You can see that the color palette still goes perfectly. And because I'm gonna be going to weddings when it's probably gonna be close to zero degrees out, I'm gonna need something super cozy like this. And just because of the color and because of the intricate detailing in it, it, I think it is wedding appropriate. But yeah, I'd say this is definitely one of my favorite outfits because it mixes like this top half of like what I love to wear with something so beautiful that like, I wish I would wear more of, but just don't feel comfortable enough for like an everyday look. But for a wedding, this skirt is perfection. All right, we're on to look number four. Can't believe we're there already. This is a beautiful, beautiful dress. So it's kind of a mix of the skirt I was wearing earlier and then that ruffle wrap dress. The thing I love most about this dress is the print. So look how beautiful this floral work is. I'm not usually like a huge florally person as you know, but this is like a black base with this beautiful red. This outfit reminds me of like a witchy ballerina. You'll know what I mean when you see the shoes but the silhouette of having this like really low wrap dress and then it flaring out into these, this very skinny pleated skirt. I don't know, for some reason I just see a, a ballerina wearing it. Not that I have a ballerina figure at all, but that's just what I envision and that's why I pulled my hair back into this low ponytail. Another thing is with a lot of Aritzia's dresses, long sleeve dresses this season that I've noticed is it has like a one layer long sleeve so it's kind of sheer but the whole body is like a double layer so that you don't have to wear like an extra slip underneath which is so so good the last thing i want to do dressing up is like add another layer on so the fact that they've taken care of that is just why they're number one in my book so it is a wrap dress it has a very very thin string that you just knot on the side or wherever you want to i've chosen to do it on the side you can see that it's all flat material on the top half and then it goes into this little very tiny pleated skirt. So this is what it looks like from afar. You can kind of see what I mean by witchy now because even though those, these are the same shoes from the outfit number one, these shoes give you a total different feel now that I'm wearing this long wrap dress that's more of like a very, very fall color theme and makes me think of Halloween, makes me think of witches because it's like a pointed toe boot kind of playing on what like witches wear, but a chic witch I would hope. So yeah, I paired it with this because it's such a long dress and I'm not going to say I'm short, I'm pretty average, but because I'm not like six feet, I'd like some extra height when I'm wearing something so long. So I chose these heels that are pretty high stilettos and then it just brings me up and gives me more room between the bottom of the skirt and the ground. But this is such a beautiful dress. I think I'm going to wear it to the October wedding, which is fitting because I just said which and it's October and Halloween. The final look. This is a really, really, really flattering strapless jumpsuit. One of the things that I think Aritzia has come to be known for is their stellar jumpsuits. This is like a ruffle strapless jumpsuit. What I love about it is that it actually has like this built-in bra. So even though this flap like covers anything necessary, it actually has like an extra layer of support underneath. So it has like two elastics kind of like one on top and one on bottom. And then like it goes all the way around and then cinches together with the zipper that's at the back there to keep you secure if you didn't want to wear a bra. So this jumpsuit comes into this tie and then comes out as a culotte. The culotte, as you all know, is a favorite pant style of mine. It has true pockets, so it's so handy when you're going to a wedding. Like maybe you want to leave your purse at your table but bring your phone or 
like something with you, then your pockets will do the trick. And because of the extra support up here, it won't like pull your whole jumpsuit down. So this is the full look. I chose these wedges just because I thought I'd add a little bit extra summer vibes to it if I decided to wear it to the wedding next month. But even though it's like a black outfit, I still have my tan, still have the sandals, still given the vibe that it isn't quite winter yet in Canada. This is a super, super simple look. You don't have to put too much thought into it because the jumpsuit says it all. It's super chic and super fun. And so you've got a wedding outfit done like that. All right, so that's it. Those were my five wedding outfits. I hope that you found some inspiration and that you might wear some of the outfits that I chose. As usual, please leave me some comments. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.